and I would tell you that I think that CMEs, coronal mass ejections, are a function of what's going on on our planet. Do I think the ultimate reset for humanity's use or maluse of technology will be ultimately taken care of by our sun? I believe that will happen. I believe the ultimate um, string for the industrial military complex will be a coronal mass ejection like we last saw in the Carrington event in 1859 when Marconi was alive and anything with a wire got zapped. You think they'll trigger it? Oh, I think we're going to trigger it. Well, that's very I think that's scary. The, I think that's the trigger. And what does that mean for Bitcoin? Uh, doesn't mean anything because the people that built Bitcoin up were smart enough to put 13% of the network underground yeah. where it would be protected. There's other places. I think the bigger problem for a CME is what is JP Morgan Chase going to do? Yeah. Because they their network is really in trouble. Yeah. I think the bigger part for humanity to think about, I mean, we're happened to be in a country right now that just came through a civil war. Do you think the people in El Salvador will be fine living off the land compared to the people in Miami? Can you imagine what Miami would look like with no supermarkets and no total yeah. wine right. and no, there's no deer down there running around. Yeah. So when you think about the centralized world that the carbon-based semiconductors in the United States. sensitive to all of that correct. infrastructure collapse. So, and even if you have your Bitcoin, you begin to realize that the, the basics, the light, water, magnetism, the food, um, how do we survive? You know, all of a sudden you begin to realize that there's a reordering or a new hierarchy that comes to play. We, we often lose sight as the silly talking monkeys that we are but a fabric in this quilt of yeah, nature, yeah, this decentralized yeah, framework. Yeah. And we somehow think that we're superior right. yeah, than yeah, yeah, the yeah. rhino on the wall. But I love uh, Francis Bacon says, nature to be commanded must be obeyed. And so we've been I think commanding so, I think that's a Jack way. Cruz axiom, to be honest yeah. with you. <laughs> I mean, that's really what my teaching's all about. But that is what I've distilled down from St. Georgie and Becker's work. When you begin to understand that you are part of the decentralized network and you need to be plugged into that, but you need to understand what that means because this is nature is not the manufactured decentralized network. You know, you know that as Bitcoin, but Bitcoin and life have many things they share in common. The big difference is the time stamping mechanism. We use quantum mechanics in our mitochondria. We use relativity. Bitcoin uses Newtonian physics. It rejects hours, it rejects seconds, but it uses 10 minute blocks to make an immutable ledger in the digital space so that cause and effect happens. Why? Because it turns right, out with money, right, you right, need cause right, and effect. Right, right. In other words, it's critical. So you're saying it creates linear time, which is the time chain, basically, whereas right. our time is more cyclic. Well, that's what a blockchain is. If you think about it, it's actually a, a, a block time. Yeah, it's a clock, basically. Right, yeah, that's all it sure. is. And it for measures sure. entropy. Yeah. But this is why you've heard me say multiple times that Bitcoin and mitochondria are both time machines. I think when you now hear this laid out in this podcast, you're like, okay, now I get it. If you enjoyed this clip, click here for the full episode and here for more just like it. Also like this video to help shine light on the corruption of money and subscribe to stay connected. Thank you.